K-State visitors took an inside look at veterinary medicine this April at the annual All University Open House. Furtis, the veterinary college's fistulated steer, starred as the main attraction of the Roaming in the Rumen demonstration, which is presented by the student chapter of the American Association of Bovine Practitioners. Furtis features a fistula, or hole, that allows access to his rumen, or the first digestive chamber of the bovine stomach. We allow people to go look, look inside the rumen to see how, how the, all the food and nutrients is being digested and how the animal is able to convert all the grass and hay that he eats into this high quality product that we all consume at each and every day. Having the fistula allows Furtis to fulfill several important duties for the college. Furtis plays a vital role in our ability to educate veterinary students about the ability of cattle to digest forages and and basically teach our veterinary students about digestive health in cattle. The other function that he has is that he is actually a therapeutic animal and so uh, Furtis is a normal, healthy, happy steer and uh, we use him to take normal rumen fluid that allows him to digest forages and transphonate that fluid into a sick animal to help them recover from disease. And so cattle that are sick for any reason get digestive disturbances much like people get stomach upsets and we take the rumen fluid from Furtis, we put it into the sick animal, and that helps speed up their recovery. And so we like to think of Furtis as saving as many cattle as we do in the state of Kansas. Originally selected for the special surgery because of his temperament and overall health, Furtis's approachability allows open house visitors to directly observe the digestive process. Is that corn? Maybe. Yep, that's corn. And most of it's hay, but yeah, that yellow is corn. And then you just moves it around and breaks it all up and then, yeah. Inside the rumen, they're seeing the digested nutrients, seeing the microbes, how they're metabolizing the, the hay particles, and just also watching it move around. So that's kind of, kind of a cool opportunity to see how they can use the food nutrients that humans are not able to and able to produce high quality in products. While visitors were offered other ways to learn about the rumen, including microscopes that showed off the microbes found in the bovine stomach, Furtis is always the star of the show. I think one of the nice things about having a fistulated cow on display like this is that it's a big draw for the public. And our mission through Open House at the College of Veterinary Medicine is to get people exposed to what we do. This is a, is a tremendously vital industry. There are lots of opportunities for students in this industry. We want people to come to the college and see the veterinary profession as something they might like to do. And uh, we're trying to reach out and impact young kids and their decisions about what they might want to do with their life. And Furtis plays an important role in that. While he has been with the college for more than 10 years, Furtis should continue to educate students and the public for many years to come. We've had animals with these fistulas in until they're 20 years old. And so, you know, the life expectancy of these animals is actually longer than most cattle because uh, we're not milking him. His, his purpose isn't for meat. His purpose is to teach. And uh, we should have Furtis for a good long time. <laughs>